Hi, my name's Cole Gilbert with Edwards Chevrolet. We're out here today with the all new 2019 Corvette Z06, the peak of Chevrolet performance. Let's go ahead and dive in. Under the hood here, we have the LT4 supercharged 6.2 liter V8, pushing 650 horsepower and 650 torque to those back wheels, plenty enough to break them loose for good burnouts or cookies. The engine hasn't changed since the C7 got introduced back in 2014. The only major change is your LT4 supercharger with the Z06 package. So in the 2019 Z06 Corvette, we do have active aero channels. Up here up front, we do have two active aero tunnels that feed to the tire wheels. And then also you have your middle front grille that feeds to a cooling system up through the hood. Up up front on the Z06 Corvette, we do have HID headlights. That stands for high intensity discharge, so you can definitely see what's coming in front of you even at high speeds. As well as up here, we do have daytime running lights. And out on the side, you do have your LED blinkers. On the 2019 Z06, it does come with your summer sport tires, as well as these beautiful embossed Z06 rims. And then you also get your red line embossed, which used to, if you remember the late model Corvettes, used to be on the tires. Also, you get your Brembo carbon ceramic brakes, allowing you to go from 60 to zero in 95 feet. As I discussed earlier on the Z06, we do have active aero. Up here, we do have an active aero tunnel, keeping those tires and wheels very cool when you're at high speeds. Down at the bottom, I do have a carbon arrow kit, which keeps me low to the ground, even at high speeds. Back in the back here, I do have two active aero tunnels. Your bottom one keeps those tires and brakes cool when you're doing high speed braking. As well as up top, we do have a downforce channel to keep that car low to the ground when you're at high speeds. As well as with that carbon arrow package, I do back here have a low level spoiler, helping downforce as well. I do have very beautiful smoked taillight lenses that comes with the Z07 package as well as I do have two active aero exits back here. From those two vents we went through earlier, feeding through the back of the car, keeping it down low to the ground. I do have quad exhaust on the new Z06 Corvette. What this allows me to do is I have three different baffle options, changing the noise and the pitch all the way from low level, all the way up to full, big beefy sounds. On the Z06, we can remove the full top of this car, and it will actually lock in here in the back of the car. So on your Sunday cruise, we can just lock it in right back here. Don't have to leave it at home and worry about scratches. With the Z06 Corvette, I do get very cool features along with the package available with the adrenaline red seats inside of here. I also get embossed stitching in my center console here. I also have a sticker that tells me how much power I actually have in the car. You do have a mode select in these. What that allows me to do is switch between, like right now I'm in Eco when you want to sneak past your neighbors there late at night. Now I can go through four different settings, Eco Tour, as well as Sport, and then Track. Now what all those different things do for me is it actually changes some of the performance of the car, including sound and the loud power to go through the engine to the back wheels. I do have a standard shifter. Now what that comes standard with is your rev match equipment. What rev match does for you, whether I'm starting out in first gear or I'm going into fifth gear at high speeds, no matter what, it definitely helps with that flywheel to clutch engagement. Now another cool thing about the features inside of this thing as far as technology goes, of course you get a heads up display. With that I can configure the height, the level, what's shown up there. And that really allows me to never even look down at my dash, I can always just be focused on the front of the car. Another very cool feature is I do have a giant LED screen right in front of me here. What I can do is I can switch that between a tachometer, a speedometer, and then I can also go into different various performance menus that show me what the car is actually actively doing as I'm driving it. Another cool feature is the touchscreen. It is equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you do have a phone that's equipped with that, I can play all of my music and stream anything I want to through my car that I would be able to do sitting at home. Now what helps you to do that is you do have Wi-Fi on this vehicle. With that Wi-Fi, of course, we don't have enough room for seven passengers, but you could hook up to seven devices to that Wi-Fi and stream Netflix across all of those at the same exact time. You can also do hands-free texting, calling, and navigation, all from the touch of a steering wheel button. What that allows me to do is never take focus off the road, even if the wife or the husband is calling you, wondering where you're at when you're cruising on a Sunday. Now another very cool feature inside here, of course, dual zone controls, and I do have a hidden compartment with a cubby with a USB in there, and it will lock with a passcode in case you ever go up for a nice bit of dinner and you have a valet. Thanks for being with us today. And if you do have any more questions about the Corvette or any of the Chevrolet lineup, don't be afraid to get a hold of me, Cole at Edwards Chevrolet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more content.